Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So today I want to tell you about a buddy of mine, okay, who is now the a partner of mine who is a part owner, in fact, pretty close to 50% owner of Simple Programmer. I bet you guys didn't know this, and the story, I think, will be quite interesting, so make sure that you stay tuned. Okay, so here's the deal. I got a lot of hate several times when I made this video that basically, I made two videos uh, with this concept. I threw this challenge out here, and I said, hey, if you wanna work for me, uh, bring me money. If you wanna come and work for me, here's the deal. And I think I read someone's email where, where they wanted to like do business, be a business partner with me, but they didn't bring me anything, okay? And, uh, and, and what I basically said was this, just to summarize this, is I said, look, here's the deal. I've got a platform, I've got the audience, I've built this up, right? You, you can't come to me with an idea and then say, oh yeah, and, and then you implement my idea. I've got the, the value here, you're bringing nothing, like, but if you execute and you show me how you're, you're doing something and you're making me money already, before we even talk about you working for me, if you, if you come and you make me money, then, then I will get you a job. You can come and work for me and, 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 and you've got the opportunity. I'll give you the opportunity, right? And this is something, this is entrepreneurship 101, right? And I would do this, right? If Warren Buffett said, hey, John Sanchez, if you fucking figure out some way to make me $100,000 and you can come and work for me, I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking doing that. I'm figuring that out, right? I'll sleep on his fucking lawn. I'll do whatever it takes, right, in order to get that kind of mentorship and that opportunity. So anyway, I, basically what I said in the video was essentially like, if you come up with an idea, right? Let, let's say, and I'll just give an example here, like something like you you came up with a way to like make a sales funnel to, to send a bunch of people to my course so I sell more courses or send people to my YouTube or you know you, you figure out what I'm doing wrong and you fix it and you create a new page for me or you create something, a product for me from my content and something like that. You've brought me something that's already making me money, right? Then I know that, that you've got what it takes, then I'm going to hire you. It doesn't mean that I'm I'm asking you to come with 50 grand cash, right? Anyway, I talked about this concept and this concept is already pissing a lot of you off because you think that I'm exploiting people. In fact, there was so much negative comments on this. Not, not that everyone, but, but I, I thought that sharing this story would be quite interesting because someone's actually done what you guys bitched about and has benefited his life. So I'm gonna tell you the real true story of Josh Earl, the business partner of Simple Programmer today and uh, and, and we'll see what you guys think of that. But so, yeah, so anyway, when I did those videos, like I said, I got a lot of hate. A lot of people were saying, hey, you're, you're exploiting people, you're taking advantage. If I can make 50 grand, why for myself, right, which the whole point was using my platform, but fine. If I can make 50 grand and then you're gonna, why do I need you for? Why, why should I let you hire me, right, and, and work for you if I can make 50 grand? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, 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 I kind of get what you guys are saying, but you're just not getting it. You're not the right person, right? When the right person comes along, you know, the opportunity comes along as well. And that's what this story is about today. So let me let me back up and let me tell you the, the story about Josh Earl. So I met him a while back at, at a job, a software development job I had at a company called Trackabout where we all worked remote. And we were both kind of entrepreneurial. We had this entrepreneurial spirit. And this was the last job that I worked before I, I quit and went on my own. You can, you can check out my career story here. In fact, I need to add more installments to that career story if you wanna follow my career along and, and hear my history and what happened. But that's when I first met Josh. Something stuck out to me about this guy because he's a hard worker, just a fast learner, like an awesome guy, all right, and has that entrepreneurial fire, like entrepreneurial fire, okay? And so what ended up happening was, you know, I ended up quitting. He was still working at the company. We actually formed a, a mastermind group together called Entre Programmers with, with two other developers, developer entrepreneurs. You can check that out. We still do that every week. We've been doing this for like three years or so, or more than that maybe. But... You know, he was doing his job and we we're doing that thing. And we're talking every week and stuff on the Entre Programmers Group. And I had this opportunity. He basically started doing copywriting, started learning marketing, and really devoted his all of his effort and energy to becoming the best marketer, best internet marketer <coughs> and copywriter that there was. Now I was learning a lot about internet marketing at this time. And so I had this product, okay? I had this product called 10 Steps to Learn Anything Quickly. At one point, I was actually giving a smaller version of this course away for free, honestly. I was because I was so on 
confident in what I was doing that I thought it was like a good lead magnet, like to get someone's email address, I gotta give them something good, right? You know, I'll, now I give you courses, my blogging course and, and stuff like that in, in order to, to get an email address so I can b b give you more stuff, <laughs> make you part of my audience, right? Contact you more and possibly make some sales, right? This is business internet marketing 101. I'm sorry if this offends you guys, but you know what? This is, this is life and this is how internet marketing works and this is how businesses work and stay in business online. So anyway, what ends up happening was I've got this course out there. Josh is getting really good at this copywriting stuff. And I don't know, I don't remember if he proposed the idea or if I proposed the idea. Maybe I, I did is I said, man, you know, I'd really like to like actually launch this course, do a real launch, package it together. There's 10 steps to learn anything quickly. And it really could be sold for $99 or something around there. Cause that's the value. The value is more than that. It's, you know, it's, it's a really good course. So I get a lot of good reviews. People say, man, this changed my life. I learned so many things. It's awesome stuff. Okay. So I don't remember who proposed it, but I, but maybe I did. And and I wanted Josh to write, do the copywriting to launch this course for me, right? So essentially, he was just going to take this thing that I had sitting on the shelf, and he was going to come up with a sales page, email marketing, newsletter, you know, mail, like advertising, package it together, get it up for sale and get this whole thing going, right? And then I could work on the other stuff I was working on and, and he would just do this kind of a done for you type of thing. And I basically said, okay, you know, what will you charge for this? And he said, you know, five grand. And I said, hey, you know what? I'll give you five grand plus 10% of everything above five grand that you sell of this, okay? And so, man, this guy, Josh, like I said, he's awesome. He he busted ass. I mean, he wrote this stellar stellar sales page. And so we flip on the switch, right? He's he's done all this work, and what ends up happening is that over the weekend, over like three days, we did this like three day sale, launching this new course to our list. And the list maybe was like fifteen or twenty thousand people at that time. Maybe a little bit more. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't like now. Right now, at the time that I'm recording this video, I've got seventy five thousand people on the the Simple Programmer email list. Okay, and a hundred thousand something subscribers, and you know it's a much bigger audience. So it was a fairly small audience, but. Man, we launch this thing, we turn it on, and we don't know what we're, you know, I think we discounted it down to like $75 or something, like a sale price for the, for the launch, and the sales just kept coming in. Like, he, he like, he killed it with his sales page, with his marketing, with the launch, and in, in, the, in the first three days, I believe we did about $50,000 worth the sales. So, so there's your $50,000 number there. So, you know, I just want you to think about this. So here's Josh, he comes in and he basically made me 50 grand, right? I mean, <laughs> that's what he basically did, right? I mean, yes, I paid him to do the copywriting and yes, I had an incentive there, but he basically had, like he had the plan. He came to me with the plan. Before I even executed or pulled the, you know, pulled the trigger on this, he had the plan. He knew how he was gonna make me money and, and he had it and he knew how we were gonna make the money and he had the numbers and you know, we, we exceeded expectations in, in all regards, but that was, that was pretty awesome. So after that happened, I said, you know what I said to myself? I said, you know what? I can't let this guy get away. I can't let anyone else hire him. I can't let him get away. I need this guy. I need, I need Josh, you know, he's a buddy of mine, but that, I, I, that had nothing to do with it. It was like, this guy is fucking good and I gotta get him on my team. I gotta, I gotta figure out something. So I made an offer to him. I said this, I said, look, I think at this time, Simple Programmer was doing about, about I think our baseline was $13,000 a month in revenue. Not a huge amount. I didn't have a huge staff at that point. I had a few part-time people working for me in, in automation going. And I said to Josh, I said, look, here's the deal. I would like you to become full time <laughs> to work for me. What's that going to take? And, uh, and and I, and I was thinking about it, and he's like, "Oh, you know, I don't know. I got these consulting, contracting, right?" And so I won't give you the full details of the arrangement, but essentially, I said this. This is essentially what the deal was. I was going to pay him some amount of money monthly, right, as a retainer to continue to work for me. And I wrote up this contract, you know, had lawyers sign this thing, and basically I said, look, I'm gonna give you half of my company if you can triple my business. So if you can triple the revenue, essentially, if we, and, and not just you, right, us working together, in the next two or three years, if we can triple the revenue, if we can take it from 13,000 and move it up to, I think what we ended up needing was 36,000, around there is what it, what it was of, of average monthly revenue, then, I'd rather have half of a business that's twice as big, 
or more than twice as big, three times as big and growing than me doing this by myself and trying to find someone who I trust, who I already know has the proven capability to deliver value like, like, he, like he did. So I made him a really fucking good offer. I mean, honestly, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty generous offer, right? A life-changing fucking offer. It, but the reason why was because he already brought me the 50 grand. Because I knew that this dude was already worth it, that he was awesome, that he was, that I wanted to hitch my, my wagon to his fucking rocket ship and and you know and and that was was worth it to me right so what i ended up doing was making this deal and basically giving him offering him 49.9% of the company if we can triple the revenue in the next two to three years is, is what I think we had. And we had a couple of arrangements, some milestones, and I was paying him some retainer, right, so that he could live, well, and, and basically he was gonna work for me full time, and then if we were able to achieve this goal, okay, then he would become a, a, almost an equal owner, right? 49.9%. Essentially, I have a little tiny bit more equity so I can be the decision maker, so I can still run this ship because we need a decision maker when you've got two partners in the company, okay? And I'm giving you the inside detail. I give you guys all this stuff because this is really important. You gotta understand this, right? I'm not talking bullshit when, I, when I'm t telling you the, the guys how this works, right? I mean, this is a fucking life-changing opportunity for him, right? I mean, this made him a millionaire, essentially, right? On paper from, from equity because simple program is worth three or four million dollars at this point easily okay now we we worked our asses off right it's been uh, you know this was like two years ago okay and in fact it was the beginning of january 2016 was when josh started working for me right right now it is july 2017 so really has it only been a year and a half that we started doing this i think so wow amazing so about one month ago we hit that goal. We hit a six month rolling average revenue of $34,000. Or that, that was the number we needed. We need $34,000. And I welcomed Josh as a co owner of Simple Programmer and gave him essentially half my company. Okay, all because he came to me with the $50,000. He was worth it. All right, he came first and, and, created value for me that made it worth it. And the reason why I'm telling you this story is, is, a, is a few reasons, of course. One of them is to brag about Josh, because he's awesome. He's an awesome guy. He's my business partner, right? A really good friend of mine as well, okay? And just an awesome guy, just hardest worker, guy that, that you ever know, and, and the best copywriter that, that I, I've ever met, okay? And, and he taught himself. He, he learned these skills, right? He, he, he applied himself to, to do this. He, he exemplifies the things that I teach you here on this channel, a simple programmer, okay? He exemplifies reaching his highest potential. He's, he's self-actualized, right? Okay, so, but the reason why I'm telling you besides that is because I want you to really understand. I want you to see this story. I want you to understand that here, because of this, because of this attitude, because of this this entrepreneurial spirit and this no bullshit, no doubting attitude and really applying Josh went from a rags to riches story, right? I mean, he was doing good. He was doing well before. I mean, his life has changed drastically, but I was willing to give him my whole, whole half of my company for that, for, because it's worth it. And, and, and I'm telling you this again, like I said, it's not just because, and, and I don't want you to think that, that I'm gonna give, give someone else out there half of my company. It's too late. It's already happened, right? But there's still opportunities. I'm not saying that, that there that I wouldn't that I wouldn't have some kind of deal for you or some position to work for me and to grow or to possibly you know benefit from from being part of simple programmer but you definitely got to bring me the, the the business first you definitely got to prove yourself first I'm not gonna take a chance on someone okay I there's very few people that I that I trust and it's usually based on results I'm, I'm a guy about all about results okay but even if it's not with me if you if you take Josh's story, okay, and you do what he did for someone else, another entrepreneur out there, you, you can get a job with them. You can become a partner with them. This is how you fucking do it. You don't email someone and say, I have a brilliant idea, and I just need you to finance it, and you to provide the audience, and you to provide the business and the system, and then you can take my idea, and we will run with it, and we will be rich, my friend. 
Bullshit. They've already done the hard work. They've already taken the risk. They've already done all this, right? I mean, when I when jo I invited Josh onto Simple Programmer and to share into this and to have this opportunity, I've already been building this company for five years, seven years, started my blog nine years ago, busting my ass, created a huge amount of value that is harder. There's no way that that I would have you know signed some kind of agreement with with Josh had he had not demonstrated results first. So what I'm telling you is stop it with the worrying about getting what are you going to get paid for for what you did or or is this fair or all this bullshit. If you provide value to someone to an entrepreneur who's got half half their brains, they are going to want more of that fucking value and they're going to pay you to produce those results. That's how it's going to work, right? So, you know, it, it takes more than an idea. It takes an idea plus execution and dedication and commitment, right? There's some people that there's plenty of people that have ideas. Everyone's got a fucking idea. You can check out my video on why your million idea, million dollar idea is worthless. Everyone's got a fucking idea, okay? And there's some people that fucking execute, okay? And there's some people that have a, that can have an idea and execute on the idea, but they fucking drop off the radar. They can't make it. They can't slog through the whole marathon. Mile 22, they're down. They're out. They're gone. You never hear from them again, all right? It takes a person who's got the fucking idea who's got the execution and who can slog it out day after day, grueling day after day, and, and, and will not accept anything but success, that's the person that becomes my business partner. That's the person that any entrepreneur is going to pay, that is going to see as a valuable member of their team, that is going to get the opportunity, right? It's a hard combination. It takes risk. It takes guts. You might not get anything. You might not get paid. You might bring a lot of business or money to someone who doesn't appreciate you. But that's what it takes. And there's a risk involved with doing that. So that's why I'm sharing with you today the story of Josh Earl, my, my new business partner in Simple Programmer. He, my, my new old business partner. He's been busting his ass for the last two years, a year and a half or whatever it was building up the revenue and we're going to keep going and we're going to keep on building this revenue and we're going to do it together now but this is what it takes this is how how you, know, you can do you can do the same thing again like i said this opportunity with simple programmer maybe not be here there's other opportunities with simple programmer i guarantee you when i find the right person right and so, some of you contact me and you're not the right person but if you are the right person and this message fucking resonates with you and you take some fucking action and you do some stuff and and you show me you you, you create some value ahead of time there's still opportunities here, but even if the opportunity, like I said, is not with me, go and find it. There are people out there who will recognize the value that you create as long as you're willing to do it, as long as you're willing to take that risk, go, go find some entrepreneur and bring them, quote, 50K. I don't mean a suitcase with $50,000 in it. I mean the business, the, the execution, the implementation of an idea that already starts making them money so that there's there's no risk involved. It's a guarantee, right? When I hired Josh after he did a 50K launch for me and he's like, and I'm paying him so many thousand dollars per month to work for me, there's no fucking law. <laughs> he's easily out earning the money that I'm paying him. No fucking doubt about it. And if he can get, if we can get up to triple revenue, okay, then, then obviously it's worth giving away 50% of my company for that. There's no question in my mind. There you go. That's the story. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think about it and leave a comment below and congratulate Josh. Fucking A. Awesome, man. Give him a congratulations. He writes a lot of the emails that you guys see from me. He runs a lot of the day-to-day -day operations, Simple Programmer, coordinates a lot of shit and lets me be the star of the show. Uh, you know, that's, that takes a, a certain, certain kind of person with humility and integrity that, that I, I highly respect. I, I, salute, I salute you, Josh. Thank you for being an awesome business partner and congratulations and, and con you know, congratulate Josh. Give, give him a congratulations. All right. You know the drill. Subscribe if you haven't and click the bell. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.